All right, if you've been paying attention to my channel for the last few weeks, especially the community tab, then you know that I have been absolutely excited about the trip that I'm currently on. We're back here in the Okefenokee Swamp. This is my third trip to the swamp and I am just so excited because I've been in February, I've been in April, now we're down here in December. And one of the cool parts is, this is pr uh, prime migration period for the sandhill crane. So I'm really hoping that we'll see some of those awesome birds. And some of you may be wondering, why have I gone to the same location three different times? Well, I'll be honest with you, if I could go more than that, I would. Same thing with Yellowstone, Glacier. It's just an awesome place to get to really experience some beautiful nature. And it's really important to support a place like this because there are attempts to like mine outside of the park and it would really disrupt the ecology of the place. And my dad was talking about the irony of trying to protect the Okefenokee Swamp from mining because it was technically mined and that's what kind of created this space in the canals is they were mining the trees, they were foresting the trees. And so it's a little ironic that we're talking about trying to protect it from mining now, but it's so important to preserve this space and I love coming here. out on the water and I just absolutely love this place, like I've already said, and it's just so cool how, especially this time of year when there's not a whole lot of tourist action going on, you can just come out here, paddle, and just listen to how quiet it is and listen to all the birds and the squirrels and all the different things. So since this is the third trip into the Okefenokee Swamp, it's a lot of fun to kind of draw comparisons to the previous two trips. Today is a little like the first day of the first trip, but it's not quite as cold, not quite as dreary. Uh, but then we were kind of like, we're not gonna see anything. And then the rest of the trip was amazing. Today, it's a little overcast. It's in the mid to high 60s, getting up into the 70s. And already we've seen a couple gators. So it's just really, really fun to go at different times of year, different months and under different circumstances and see what there is to see. So now this is where we're really starting into my favorite spot because the motor boats have to go off to the left, whereas man-powered boats go off straight along down this channel. We've already seen a ton of gators, big, little, it's been really, really great. And even better is the weather's still beautiful and some blue sky starting to poke through. So it's about to be a beautiful three days here in the Okefenokee Swamp.
One of the things that I feel like is easy to forget in a place like this is just because you don't see something doesn't mean that there are plenty of somethings out there that see you. It's kind of unnerving to think that we've seen plenty of gators, but I've seen several instances where I saw one that the rest of the guys didn't see, or you could kind of see two little bumps and you're like, I think that's a gator, but it might not be. Or again, you might think it's a stump and it really is a gator. So just because we haven't seen a whole lot of other animals and we haven't seen some of the bigger guys, doesn't mean they're not out there. And sometimes that can really make you nervous. <laughs> On our previous trips, we would actually turn right here and go to Round Top, but on this trip, we're going to take a slightly different route, so we're pretty excited about that. All right, so we have made it to our first shelter for the weekend. It is Canal Run Shelter, complete with our own little guest who was not necessarily invited, but it's his home, so he was here first. So we've got everything set up, camp and everything. We've got all the tents ready to go, got our bathroom, and we even have a fire pit, so we're ready for a good evening. This one is almost empty. I hope it's not. Not all the way empty. <laughs> yeah, like. Salt that. Yep, I've eaten each of these enough times that uh, I know just about one. Some of them I don't have to add anything. Freeloader hanging out around here, thinking he's going to get himself a snack. Almost feel a little like Jack Sparrow in, in uh, I think it's the second Pirates movie. Shoo. Shoo. <laughs> Alright, quickly losing daylight here because it is December, so the sun sets really, really early. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off from day one, and I will catch y'all on day two. <laughs>